The third installment of Global Investor Meet in Tamil Nadu has begun and it's a two-day event behind us. You could see all the delegates, everybody who is lining up over here to participate in this event. And there you could see that is the Chief Minister's Convoy who is also participating in this event. This is considered to be a major event in the state of Tamil Nadu where Tamil Nadu government is expecting an investment with jobs. They expect that that will be provided for the people of the state. In fact, the Tamil Nadu government is also concentrating to make sure that it does not apply only to the like uh, northern districts like Chennai and surrounding areas, but also to other parts of the Tamil Nadu state as well. In fact, we also got a kind of list as to like the uh, companies that have uh, uh, gone ahead and given an assurance about uh, the investment. For example, Hyundai has uh, like uh, uh, given a kind of assurance that an additional 6,180 crores will be in invested in the state of Tamil Nadu. Qualcomm, 177 crores and an employment for 1,600 people. First Solar, 2,500 crores and 350 employment, uh, 5,000 crores, 5,600 crores in Kanjipuram alone. Godrej consumers, 515 crores in Chengalpet. Tata Electronics, 12,082 crores plus 40,500 employment in Krishnagiri. Pegatron, 1,000 crores in Chengalpet and 8,000 as employment. JSW, 12,000 crores and 6,600 crores employment in Tutukudi and Tunalveli. TVS groups, 5,000 crores and 500 employment. Mitsubishi, 200 crores in Gumri Pundi. AP Mola Maersk, Singapore is investing as well. Hyundai, 1,100 crores in Kanjipuram and Winfast, 6,000 crores in Tutukudi. And Winfast also has given an assurance that Tamil Nadu will become a pioneer in producing green energy vehicles. And this is how the global, in the global investors meet for two days has been like has uh, begun in the state of Tamil Nadu. That is a logo that you see. That is actually a word called Ta. Ta means that's also the initial word for Tamil Nadu. And that's how they are planning, the state is planning to bring in progress for the state of Tamil Nadu. We have the Industries Minister TRV Raja with us. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. And uh, how does the policy continuity from government to government help in industrial development in the state? See, whenever somebody comes into uh, a foreign country uh, to invest, I think policy continuity will play extremely uh, hugely in their mind. Um, because there is this talk about regime changes affecting policy continuity, but that has not been the case in Tamil Nadu for, for the longest period. Uh, every other regime, every regime change has only be brought in better prospects for a industry, if you, if you ask me, because the previous government has always tried to do one better than the other government. Uh, not that many have done it. The DMK has done it very um, successfully over the ages and that shows why that that shows in the fact that every time there's a DMK regime you would continuously see a lot of industrial growth during that period. Can you tell us about how the Dravidian model has helped in f flourishing of uh, industries in the state of Tamil Nadu? Well, the Dravidian model is uh, all about inclusivity, sustainability now also and it's good governance um, so if you look at globally now today, uh, everybody is talking about ESG, right? So if you, ESG goals are being looked at as though it's something new. But in the Dravidian model of governance, that is what we've been doing for ages now. And for decades, Tamil Nadu has grown because of the Dravidian model of uh, governance. And ESG has been part of our growth story. So it comes naturally to the DMK regime or any uh, Dravidian model regime. Um, so Tamil Nadu has done things differently. ESG has always been inbuilt in our growth story. And I think that in itself will give uh, products or ma things manufactured in Tamil Nadu, a better uh, acceptance worldwide, globally now, uh, especially with the ESG tag uh, stuck on it. Uh, sir, how is Tamil Nadu proving out to be a deemed destination for uh, industries and investors? Well, uh, loads, as I said. Uh, diversity, equity and inclusivity is something which every uh, new age uh, investor looks for and all these boxes get ticked only in Tamil Nadu. Um, we've been this way for, for the longest period. Uh, any investor who wants to come in and grow uh, his industry anywhere in the world will look at the talent pool availability and the continuous talent pool availability and he will also look at, he or she would definitely want to look at the prospect of getting this talent 
five years, ten years down the line in a sustained uh, manner. And coming into Tamil Nadu, they will see that we have been doing this sustained uh, uh, production of uh, talent uh, over years and we are definitely uh, going to continue that trajectory given uh, schemes like the non mudalvan scheme of the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu now, uh, which is a very unique scheme where <coughs> talent is tailored to the requirement of industry and I think that in itself will be a huge, huge uh, um, attraction for any investor. Set aside not just that, um, you will also have the right kind of infrastructure in place, the right kind of society in place which is uh, very inclusive. This society in Tamil Nadu is very inclusive. There's, there's religious harmony, there's safety for women and all these are things that you can't find anywhere else. Um, um, unfortunately, not in many places in India right now. How is Tamil Nadu proving out to be the dream destination for investors and how exactly is, uh, how much is Tamil Nadu contributing to the GDP of uh, India? All right, Tamil Nadu has uh, always been one of the biggest uh, contributors to the GDP of uh, India. Uh, we are pushing double the digits uh, consistently, we are trying to go one up. Um, and right now, if you look at the stories such as the electronic story, we did 5.37 billion last year. In this year, in the six months alone, we have touched almost 5 billion. So, we, I'm sure we're going to hit about 8 billion in the electronic sector alone. And for the longest time, we've done the, uh, we, we have exported to 170 countries from Tamil Nadu, only in the auto industry. In the auto ancillary units, <coughs> again, are becoming, uh, are becoming um, uh, hugely attractive to the new age EV sector. So, the EV guys are also coming in in a big way into Tamil Nadu. Uh, industry 4.0 will boom, uh, will give huge impetus uh, for, for the young talents, for the job markets, for the young talents that are being generated in places like Tamil Nadu and Kerala and, and, and even in Karnataka, most of the southern states, some many of the northern states too. So, many, you, you also see that there's Tamil Nadu is one place where all the migrant workers come and they thrive too because they come and they're talented, they have stuff, they, they know things but they don't have the kind of uh, industry in their states to grow and you know uh, get, get jobs. But Tamil Nadu does that and they, you do see a lot of migrants also coming into Tamil Nadu and making this their home. And once again, as I said, safety, inclusivity um, and, and women empowerment particularly, that is something which is extremely um, special in Tamil Nadu. And I think in that way, in, in, uh, Tamil Nadu is one of the brilliant um, engines of growth for uh, India as such. How and when will Tamil Nadu become a trillion dollar economy? Well, the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, MK Stalin Aurgal, has a trillion dollar economy dream. Uh, and uh, come in this uh, uh, global investors meet, you're going to see this uh, dream being laid bare. You're going to see how this going to be, things being laid bare on how this road to that uh, trillion dollar economy is going to be achieved, how it's going to be laid. Uh, you're going to see uh, a document coming out the, on the 7th or the 8th of January uh, in which we tell the world how we intend to achieve this trillion dollar aim and I'm sure with the kind of passion, the kind of passion that the Honorable Chief Minister has, I'm sure Tom Nadu is going to attain this goal very, very soon. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. That was uh, Industries Minister T.R.B. Raja and uh, with Vijay Raghavan, Pramod Madhav for today.